You're cleaning out your craft room. Oh, hey, Tara, how are you? Oh, I wish I could do that, but I don't have any room to put anywhere, anything anywhere, so I'm not even going to try to clean it. All right, so let me show you guys what I have. First of all, I do have, I want to show you, I have this little guy. Isn't he cute? So cute. So I have this little guy in my Etsy shop. I only have three left. Um, so if you want a gnome, it's $25. If you want one of these Easter Bunny gnomes, um, go to my shop, which is, hey, Miss Dawn, how are you? Thank you for coming, hon. Um, it's, if you type in the Etsy search and type in buy M N as in Nancy B as in Bravo, it'll pull up my shop. You'll see me holding, um, standing next to a blue wreath, but the ears are wired. The hat is wired and he's got these little floppy legs and he's got a little rainbow pastel colored. Isn't he cute? But I got three of these left, so if you want one, better hurry and get them before they're out. Focal point of my grapevine. So it used to have a metal flower right here. Um, I didn't like it. So I had my husband take it off. It was just tack welded right here, so I just had him take it off. What we're going to do is just put a, well, I say wait like you're standing here. What I'm going to do is put a big flower in the middle instead. Okay. So that's going to be our focal point. I got those um, wings. I'm not going with that right now. I got those wings from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I believe last week they were 80, 80, 50% off. So you may have to check and see if they're still 50% off. They may do it every other week. So if it's not this week, it'll probably be, ne be next week. Okay. Now, I made this today to go with it. My little rag bow. So it's pink and white. And I put actually put some wired ribbon in with it. I thought that would look really cute. Kind of do a little bit something different. Kind of whimsical. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to put that in there. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Put it over here. And for the flowers, it's going to be a pretty simple wreath. I, I guess we're going to play this game today on huh, Facebook. Oh, I hate Facebook. I hate it. Okay. So for, um, I had to bring up my live again because, you know, Facebook kicked me out again. I got this kind of grayish, um, Kind of, it's kind of um, greener garland, but if you get it 50% off, so then it's like eight bucks, and this will last you a while. Okay, so I got some of that. Oh, bear with me. I guess I'm gonna be doing this all night. I think, um, you guys, I'm gonna start doing. It's gonna continue to keep doing this. I'm gonna start doing my lives on YouTube. And then just sharing it to Facebook. So um, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you want to get notifications on YouTube, um, then you may want to go over to YouTube. Thanks, Laura. Uh, you may want to go to YouTube and um, type in uh, m &B Creations. It should bring up my page and subscribe that way. Um, I got some little pink berries that we're probably going to put in there. I got these from... Hobby Lobby as well. All the flowers are from Hobby Lobby. Okay. I got these little pink and white roses. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. These are $7.99 a bushel. Um, and you get quite a bit of flowers on them. And so I got these at 50% off. I only buy my flowers at Hobby Lobby at 50% off. You know what? Okay, bear with me. I am going to restart my tablet. I actually haven't restarted it for a while. I'll keep talking and then, because I think I just need to reset it. Um, and so I can't see your comments right now, but I will review them when I get back on. So I got these. These are really pretty. I got these. Um, they're $9.99. It's got little berries on them. Um, little white flowers with pink tips on them. These are so cute. 
It's $9.99, but again, again for half off. Okay, so I got that one. And this is the flower that we're going to put in the middle of the angel wings. It's a, I think these are a dahlia. I think that's what they're called. It's kind of a white and pink or a cream color and pink with a little touch of fuchsia inside. Let's see if I can see that. Isn't that pretty? Uh, let's see. The, there's the, the lighting. Pretty. So we're going to put that in between the wings. Now I'm only going to use a couple of these flowers. I got two of these. So these are going to go on either side of the rag. Somewhere on there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Let me get back into Facebook. I'm going to be using um, five, I think, different ribbons. That's not what I wanted. And if I haven't said hello to you yet, it's because I got kicked out of Facebook and I'm trying to get back on. So I swear I'm not ignoring you. Um, so I got these ribbons. Facebook. Need it. Need it. So I got this floral. This one I got from Hobby Lobby. This one I got from uh, Michaels. So it's got the satin um, stream or ribbon in the middle. It's pink with a little bit of burlap, so it give you a natural color. And then there we are. Now I see you guys. Hey, Michelle. Um, and this floral. We got like, a little bit of floral in the um, bow, and then I'm going to use these three and a half. So I'm going to incorporate some more of this ribbon. Probably use whatever's left over, and some Swiss dot pink ribbon. And which I got this. I got these three at Craft Outlet. Okay. Now, for what we're going to be putting it on, I'm going to be using an oval. Um, great find. I like ovals because it kind of gives you a little bit different dimension and it's not so spread out this way. Um, so they're a little bit longer. Um, so I am going to basically just kind of cut off a little bit of the outside because I haven't had a chance to get rid of the stragglers. I'm not going to get rid of all of them because that would take me forever, right? And then we'll get started. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to make a hanger at the top made out of um, ribbon. But it's going to have a bow at the top um, and it's going to hang. Um, so it's going to be kind of like this far, this far up. Okay. This does make kind of a mess, and I am going to probably put it on the floor because I need a vacuum anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the angel wings. It's a little bit more narrow on the top or bottom, whoever decide, whoever, which side you decide to do the top or bottom. I think I'm going to do uh, the wings at the top. Well, at the top, obviously, but I think I'm going to do it at this end. Okay. And for my wings, I already put, now the good thing about these wings is they have these, um, hangers right here in the back, and it's also got this right here, which is where that flower was. So I'm just going to kind of put this right here so I can see figure out where okay and I'm just gonna kind of put this on the back these always I always have a, such a hard time with these I'm trying to get these placement it's like putting on signs I can't and sometimes it's hard with a grapevine just because they can be really tight. Just gotta find an opening. Okay. We're gonna twist 
the pipe cleaner. You can do this with wire as well. Um, it's it's up to you. Okay, so we got that side. Make sure they're. This one, just gotta wiggle it through there. Hold on, that one. Okay. Get this. Just pull it really tight and make sure it's even. I'm gonna look at it. There we go. That one needs to be tighter. Okay. Just wanna make it really, really tight. And it's this thing that was driving me nuts. Okay. I kept getting this wrapped around this twig and I'm like, I can't find the back. <laughs> so this is going to be a fairly simple wreath. Um, you know, just a bow and some, I'm going to kind of cut this off a little bit. the wings. So if you don't want to get this stuff everywhere, you can always put a towel down on your board. Um, you know, my, I need to vacuum anyway, so I don't really care, but I'm going to scrape off as much as I can so I don't get it all over my, this one's especially dirty. Okay, now I'm going to put the rag bow on that. Now I'm going to, before I put the bow, the um, flower in between here, I am going to put the ribbon in right here to hang it because I'm going to need to get this in first so I, I don't, so I can put the bow right in here. So I'll put the rag bow on next. Let me, um pan down for you guys a little bit you can see okay okay now I've got I put pipe cleaners on the back of mine and I'll show you what to do with some of these loops to keep it I'm just gonna kind of go at the top and the bottom you want to do this really tight so it's not flopping around. Am I stuck? Oh, maybe I just don't have a very good signal tonight. Okay. I'm going to see how this is. Okay, so what you can do with your rag bow, a little dirty, is you can take like one of your, God, Facebook, I hate you. <clears throat> so depending on whether I have hockey this weekend or not, um, my live is going to be on, either on Friday or if I have um, hockey on Friday and Saturday, my live will be on Sunday. And this time it's going to be on Facebook because I'm tired of dealing with Facebook. I mean, it's going to be on YouTube. So what you can do is you can take like one of your loops, put a zip tie in the loop, and put it through, put those zip ties through here. That way it'll hold on each side, it'll hold your um, rag bow 
for moving around, but I tied this pretty tight so it's not really good, it's not going anywhere. Okay, so we got that piece done. Not bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is it should it's like it's what do they like dig it up from the dirt or what? Okay. So I'm going to let me see what ribbon I want to use. I think I'm going to use this Swiss dot ribbon because I've got more of it. And I'll show you how I do this. It's really, really easy. <clears throat> I would, Before I started doing this, I thought, God, it looks really complicated. How does somebody do that? Okay, so you want to take a pretty good piece. Because we're going to flip it through here. Okay. Like this. Okay, we're gonna make the hanger like right here. So I'm gonna cut right here, and then I'll tell you how I'm gonna take it out so I can show you how much, how bit long it is. Okay, so this is. <laughs> So it's about 35 and mm, it's almost 40 inches. Okay. So how we do this, are my comments not coming up? Hold on. That's live, right? Okay. So we need to make this even. I'll pull this down so you can see this. So we're gonna go about, you need to pull it this way. Okay, so we're gonna go about right here. I'm going to get a zip tie. Okay. So I'm going to do it about maybe uh, 10 inches up, okay? Then I'm going to take a zip tie and pull it really tight, as tight as you can get it. You want it really straight up here because otherwise it'll get uneven. Then, we're going to make a bow at the top of that, but I'm not going to do it right yet. I wanted to get this piece on first before I put the flower on. And I guess I should turn on. Okay, it was on. I just want to make sure. But for some reason, I didn't think it was on. Okay. So, we're going to have it. This is going to be our hanger to hang on the door. Now, what I want to do is I want to take this big flower and we're going to stick it right here in the middle. You want it as close to the bottom. I cut this off so you can see. Okay, so you want it close to the bottom right here as you can get it. Oh, son of a biscuit. Okay. And the reason why is because you want it to lay flat. So I'm going to take a bunch of glue, and this is the other reason why I wanted this on first. Hey Jonathan, how are you, hon? Okay, I'm just going to stick this right, you want to make sure this is all the way out and taut, and then I'm going to stick this right here, okay? And then we're just going to let that sit. Now. We're going to do that bow, the thing, the bow thing later. I'm going to take some more of my ribbon. Okay. And I'm going to make some tails. Now, I'm going to get some more ties. Get some pink ones. And if you guys could do me a favor and spread the love for me, I appreciate it. 
Um, let's see. I've missed you guys. I haven't done live in so long. So what I'm gonna do is I need one. I want long tails on this. Okay. So about 25 inch long tail. We're gonna loop it. So I want the loop to be approximately about six inches. Okay. So we're gonna squidge it. And then we're gonna so let me show you how we do a hand bow. This is really easy. It took me forever to figure it out, but you wanna just loop it over. Okay. Scrunch it in the middle. Kind of hold it like this because you're gonna to need to turn it. So your index finger needs to be in the front and your thumb needs to be holding it in the back, but you need to pinch it so it doesn't come undone. Okay. Make sure I don't have a bubble right there. Because what you're gonna to need to do is pull this like you're making a curl in your tail. Pull it and twist this at the same time. So you have it going to the back. Okay. I'm just gonna pinch it. Then you just need to make sure they're even, which they're not, so you just pull it a little bit. Now they're even. Okay. Do the same thing. Only I'm gonna make one loop instead of two. Okay, so for this, I'm going the wrong way. So this way. <laughs> okay. And twist it because you want the pretty side up, just like you're making a regular bow. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this pipe cleaner in half because we don't need all of it. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'll make sure these are even. Okay. Now to make it tight, you want to take your ribbons, pull it all in your hand, pull it like this. See this gap right here? You want to twist this right up against that gap. So it's really tight. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here. Right up against. I like this grapevine, it's not real tight. Like some grapevines I've dealt with. There's the other one. Okay. You could do this with an evergreen. Hey, CC girl, how you feeling, honey? You, I know you said you've been sick. Okay. So, we're going to turn this like this. Um, I think I want it more in this way. I'm going to put it in far enough. Okay. Let me pull this out. Because I want this more underneath the bow so it looks like it's sticking out from the bow. And for those of you that may be interested, um, I am running a special right now on my design group membership fee. So the whole month of Jill, oh my, in January, I almost said July. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, it's going to be $10 a month. These keep bending on me. I'm trying to find a spot that's not so tight. I'm gonna stick this down in here. That's the only thing I don't like about grapevines is some areas get really tight. Some 
are not so tight and it's just it just it's frustrating sometimes <laughs> y'all love them drugs I give you right okay, I'm just trying to find a spot um design group and then I can uh, approve you This really isn't that hard, it's just because I'm alive. Yeah, I don't have a needle, hun. It's just trying to get it through this stupid grapevine. Okay, next one I'm gonna use a hole. I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me do this all night, right? Feels like it's going through, but then it's like not. I don't one side. There it is. I see it. There. Okay. Got it. Persistence is key. <laughs> oh. Oh. What is it that you have, CC? Do you have like the flu or something? I know there's a big stomach flu going around. It's horrible. Okay. So I just want to put the loops like that. Okay, I'm going to stand up to do this part. I'm going to dovetail my ends. I'm not going to cut the pipe cleaner on the other one. Okay, I'm just going to put this one here. So, I don't want to dovetail if you've never dovetailed before. I know a lot of you do. Um, you just take your ribbon, fold it in half, and cut up an angle. It'll make a dovetail for you, just like that. It's just a finished edge. Makes it really pretty. You could even do it as an angle as well. I don't like to keep mine straight because it looks like I didn't finish it. Okay, there. So now I got that look like it's coming out of the rat bow. I'll turn it around so you can see because I can do the other side. See? Just like that. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to do this side. So this side I'm going to do two white, making my tails again about 25 inches long, and I'm going to make sure this is about even. Okay, six inches. Okay, hold it back like this. Okay, pinch it. I like this white. It's hard to find a good white. This is an iridescent white, so it's kind of like a got an opal color to it. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Okay, just stick this right here. Twist it. All right, I'm kind of done with that one. So, I'm going to take my other pipe cleaner, I'm going to use a full length one, so it's not so hard to fight. Oh girl, you poor thing. Make sure these are even. That one's a little bit longer. Move it over a little bit. Okay, there we go. Again, I'm going to take it to the back. Pull it this way so you have and twist where that gap is. Okay, now this should be a lot better. Let me see. This is that. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with this one right in here. Okay. 
One way I don't have, mm, that one didn't take so bad. Okay, and I want to, oh, I'm so sorry, CC. Okay, so there, put the light. I'm just gonna dovetail these for right now, and then when we get towards the end, I will shape them and kind of curl them a little bit. Because that way I can see if I need to cut any. I'll put, I'm going to put it on my easel so it's easier to see. Why do they do that? Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to redo this, but I'll show show you what it looks like right now. I'm not going to glue this in right now. So what they did is they took two pieces of ribbon and glued it together. Freaking idiots. I hate it when they do that. Like we're not going to notice. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Just saying. So I'm going to end up redoing this ribbon because I don't want that on there. That's just it's hacky. Okay, now I am going to get my bear with me. I gotta go get it. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's on the floor. All right. So. My easel. I'm going to move this over a little bit. I need to get this off the table because I'm getting it all dirty. My rag ball dirty. Okay. Come on. me while I put this together real quick. I haven't used this in a while. Okay, that's this one. Okay. Need this in a little bit. I love this easel. It's just a tabletop easel that people use for painting and I just put a regular hook on the top of it. Let me get this over here and then I'll move the camera so you can see. Okay. I don't want to get dirt all over my white bow. Okay, so this will be a lot easier to put flowers on it. And I can see. Okay, it's flowing down, flowing down. All right, so I'm gonna start putting the greenery in first. And then I can start putting the flowers in around it. And I'm probably going to put some long tails in here. Not long tails, but some tails with the two and a half inch tube. And I'm going to do that a little bit later. So I'm just going to cut. You know, I'm going to put this down so you can see what I'm doing. Just kind of cut this off. Now they were selling the same line at Christmas time, but um, once Christmas got over, they stopped selling it. However, they do sell this in the garland, where all the garlands are at. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of start putting this. 
I like it there, but it's gonna give me problems so I can see. Okay. Okay, I like that right there. Make sure you place your florals where you want them first because it's going to be a lot easier and a lot less headache if you do that first. flower right there or something. What is wrong with this? Didn't want to stay in there even though that's where I put it last time. Okay. I can always just put like a little flower or something right there. It'll make it stand up. Okay. got glue on me. <laughs> okay. If you guys could do me a favor, if you could spread the love for me, I appreciate it. Share the love. Okay. I'm going to cut this down at the very bottom. Okay. I don't work with grapevines very often just because, I mean, I try to, but they're kind of like my nemesis. <laughs> I like them, but me they're harder to work with than any other. Right, let me kind of cut these a little bit so I can yeah that's why they're getting too big. So I was watching a video before I started here. It was for um it's gonna bless her. It was Nick and he was making a he was making a half moon wreath. It was so pretty. I was like, "Well, that is a cool idea." I don't know. I mean, it could be mine. Maybe that's why everybody's leaving. I don't know. It could be my Mevo. Who knows? Okay. I don't know. See, this one was, okay, we'll stick that one right there. Or you know, I'll just be by myself. Hey Darlene, how are you? Let's see if I put another one there. If I put another one right there, I'll make that stand up.
Thank you, girl. Thank you, Cece. I appreciate it. on this side. I what side I was working on. Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. I need to get a tissue. My nose is running. Hold on. I know it's starting running. That's what you always wanted to say, right? Me blowing my nose. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Okay, I want to stick this kind of like right. Here, I think. I want it right above. Even more down a little bit. Like right there. And I can put some more green right back here. The other one. I just want to make sure those are even. I'm going to remember what spot I put these in. Really? I'm going to put a little glue on that. Because I've decided to come off. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt on a live, right? Okay. I'll touch the glue one more time. Alright, so let's stick that like right there. If it goes through the other side, that's fine. You can always cut off the end of it. Not a big deal. putting in I've got a white one but I don't know where I want to put it I may not put it in here I don't know um let's see if this I'm gonna put start putting in some of the pink ones and some of the white ones I 
Okay, I'm gonna leave the greenery on it. Okay. Do a pink one on the other side. Touch the glue. There we go. There, I'm gonna stick that just like that. Okay, and then we got this one over here. I want to leave the stems kind of long because I want them kind of airy and sticking out a little bit. Hey Patricia Ann, hey Jan, how are you ladies? Thank you for coming. Okay, I'm going to do a white one. use all of these but I don't want to overpower this wreath. I want it to be pretty simple. As long as I don't touch the glue again, we'll be all right. Thanks, Miss Patricia. Girl, how are you feeling? I know you said you were sick too. The stomach flu. Poor girl. This stuff's going around. I would rather have the flu flu any day or a cold that lasts for a month than the stomach flu. I am such a weenie when it comes to that. Ugh. Me. I'm not a big fan of the stomach flu. Not like anybody would be, but. If I had my choice, that would not be the one I get. Okay, I'm gonna kind of stick a white one out. I'll use a small one. So much easier to place flowers in something like this when it's standing upright instead of on the table because you can't really get a good view of what it's doing. I'm going to stick one like maybe up in here, a white one. Oh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. there. That goes to the other side. No. There. No, I just keep playing with my ribbons, but I may just take one of these and just kind of Maybe a pink one right there. Yep, he's watching wrestling. That's what I heard. Brock Lesnar! Do you guys ever watch wrestling? <laughs> we had watched wrestling every day for so long. And then 
we just stop watching it. We get bored with it after a while. You're like, really? It's just so fake. <sighs> Come on. But then we started watching it again. It's just so... There we go. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to put another one behind. But Nick, how do you say his last name? Atticos, I think his last name is. Um, he did one with a one of the wire frames. I'm gonna try to do one that looks so cool. It looked really pretty. He used every everything was in yellow for spring. It was so pretty. And people can either use it as a half moon or they can use it as a, a spring or a, as a C for the last name. So it's kind of, it's pretty cool. Okay. Now, um, let me kind of put, I want to put a pink one out this way and a white one out that way. I want to kind of give it some more airiness. See on the other side because I could have got my gate over here. Um, I'm gonna put one right here. Uh, how about more like up here? Oh. Okay, that's good right there. I can always put some more greenery too in here if I need to. I probably will. I just wanted to start with some so I have a base. Don't touch the glue. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Appreciate that, Cece. Okay. Now, I think that's enough for those for now. And I got some of these. Ugh. These are really pretty. I love these. These are so pretty. They're kind of um, viney. Paper on there. I'm gonna kind of twist this a little bit more. And then cut this. I don't want it that long. Okay. So these are so cool because you can get the little berries on them. And we're going to add more berries, but kind of gives it a little wispiness. I think I might put this one right here. This is all wire, so that looks cute like that. Okay, pull that out. I don't like that paper. Ouch. Stuck me. It's just this wire does not like to cooperate. Okay. The hard part's getting it back in the same spot you took it out of, because I never want to go back in the same spot. 
you know? <laughs> okay. I'll let that sit and do its thing, and then I can figure out how it's supposed to look. I think I'll put another one. Kind of does, huh? But it's really, um, they got these little, I love it. They remind me of little cherry blossoms, kind of. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put this down here. This, this side is harder to do. Hold on, I'm going to have to switch this so I can see. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to stick this right here. Okay, I got the spot. I can glue it in there. <clears throat> I like to place everything as I go and then glue it as I go because <laughs> I've done it before where I've forgotten where I've glued and where I haven't. And then when I went to go pick it up to take a picture, I'm like, oh, stuff is falling out of it. So, okay, so I'm gonna use, I figured I'd use this whole thing. Okay, and I will just go down here. That's a hard stick. All right. So, Okay, so that kind of come off, which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna put that one there. And then these two, I'm undone. We'll fix it. There. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to read all the comments through the through the grapevine like this. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. Let me see. I'm just trying to find a good spot. Um, actually, how about right here? That's a good spot. Okay. That's a good spot. I need to get another glue stick. So I asked my husband the other day, I said, so honey, when do you think you're going to have enough money to get your gun cabinet? He goes, oh, I'm saving my money. It could be a while. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> and the only reason why I say that is because his gun cabinet is in my craft room. And um, I want my craft room back. He's taken up prime real estate. Just saying. Okay. And I'm going to cut this one just a little bit. I don't need it that long. Okay, so I've got that one. I'm going to stick this one. It's got these little frosty kind of leaves on it, too. I love this. Little berry bibs. It's, um, they brought this out for Easter this year. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick this one right through here. So pretty. So have you guys seen what the new wedding colors are this year? So pretty. There's, um, what was one color? Like cantaloupe. And then, um, oh, one I want to try is, um, like a burgundy, dark gray, 
and cream. How pretty would that be? Um, Teresa, I got the wings from Hobby Lobby. They were, last week they were 50% off, so I don't know if they're going to be 50% off this week. I don't know. Uh, home wall decor it's under. Um, they might do that every other week like everything else, so you might have to check. It comes with a metal flower on it, but I took that off. I don't like it. I've seen some people paint it. Uh, like I saw one picture in a wreath where somebody painted it white. And I still just didn't like it. I just, I don't know. It just wasn't singing to me. Singing. Okay. I'm going to move this like right in here. Okay, there's those. Okay, so I do have some more. I've got these, so we can add some more of those. Um, yeah, maybe I should add some more greenery a little bit. So let me add some more of this. And add some more greenery. I think we're almost done, you guys. Of course, everything falls on the floor. Why wouldn't that? This one might be right here. Okay. I do have a glue pot that I use, but I just, I need to get an extension cord because I have to mess with it and I feel like it's going to fall on the floor. And as you all know, I like to burn myself with glue, so I'd rather not do that on my legs. So I need to get an extension cord. And I need to get a different thing to put on it so it's sitting differently on. Yeah, that's pretty. Just like that. That one looks good right there. But this works just as good. If you don't have a glue pot, not to worry. Um, your glue gun works just as good. But if you want to get a glue pot, um, one of those miniature skillets that you can get at Walmart are good. I got mine off of Amazon. So, okay, there's that. Like how it's kind of going up towards the wings. I'm going to put some more. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is when I'm done with this part, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to put it on my easel over here so we can finish doing the bow, the hanger bow at the top. Okay, I think I'm going to stick this one like right here. I feel it needs it right here. And lo and behold, it does. Okay. There. I need some more over here. I'm gonna put another one right here. It just it looks like there's a bare spot right here. And perfect. Okay. If you guys are scared to do florals, um, you know, don't be. You just gotta practice with them, and um, did I turn that backwards. Yes, I did. It just takes practice. I still get a little overwhelmed with florals sometimes, not to lie, um, you know. But if I didn't work with them, I'd never learn, right? So, okay, another one. And then I'll probably put a couple of little more little berries in. I don't like this on here. Uh, all over me and I did third degree burns and hey Georgie, how are you? 
Oh, so you're awesome at it then, CC girl. You teach the rest of us how to do them. glue all over my kind of stuffed up one like maybe right here. Okay. I always thought being a florist would be fun, but I don't know if I did it, if I had to do it as a job every day, um, I don't know if I would like it as much. You know how, I mean, I do this every day because you know, I love it, but they always say that, you know, do something you love, you don't work a day in your life, which I agree with, but I love to cook too, but I don't know if I, that I would like being a chef because I'm afraid I would hate it because I have to do it, not because I want to do it, you know? Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more of this and then we're going to move on add a little bit more berries and then we're going to do the top and we'll be done. Okay, so I need to put this like maybe right here. I just want to add, it just looks like it needs some. Okay, I think that's good right there. Some people can just whip these in and out like choo, choo, choo. I'm like, I still learning. Wow. That's amazing, CC. Hey Lena, how are you? Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's easier to oh, I'm getting dirt all over my Okay. I'm gonna try to move this over here. Okay, so we have to do some of that. Let me put some little berries in here a little bit and see if that helps it. I love these little berries. Alright, I'm going to stick some like maybe right here. It's just. I, I feel like I'm fighting with grapevines all the time. Maybe it's just I'm not doing it right, but. You know, it's got enough berries in it, I think. I'll save these for something else. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on my easel. So bear with me, I'm gonna move. But I will bring this in so you can see. That, but it's just so stupid. <laughs> so I don't know. The, for the people that were here, weren't here earlier. So I put this bow in, and um, they decided to glue two pieces of a bow together. Right? So I'm like in the middle of a roll. <laughs> just like really. All right, hold on. Let me put this down. Um, so I need to go down a bit. Where is my? Ugh. Okay. Nope, I'm not doing that. Nope. There we go. Where is my? E. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, put this down. I'm going to put it down low enough so you guys can see it. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see, I know. 
Can you guys see him? Let me know if you guys can see it or not. Some of this dirt stuff off my table real quick. Wow, that makes a mess. You guys see the top of it? Oh no. I'm just gonna move this in through this a little bit more so I can get behind it. I'm just gonna put this down just a little bit more. Oh! Okay. Alright. Okay. I think we're good. Can you guys see it now? Okay. So what we're going to do with this at the top, first of all, I'm going to dovetail this. Let's see if I can get this to go up just a tad. Sorry if my hand on the way, you guys. Can you see it? Okay. because this is going to go like this. Right. And twist it like this. So this is going to go around and I'll show you what we're going to do. So we're going to take some ribbon. I haven't done this one yet. So we're going to do some little handbows. And we're going to get another pipe cleaner. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, Lourdes. How are you, girl? All right, so I think I'm going to do two, two and a half, and one, one and a half. Okay, we're going to do some tails, so probably maybe about a 10 inch tail. Okay. Again, I'm going to loop it. I'm going to make my loops at about six inches. Oh, that worked out well. I'm going to save these because I'm actually going to end up making my own ribbon. I got a cording um, foot. So I'm excited about that. I don't know where I'll find the time to do that, but that's okay. Okay, make sure these are even. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna hold that like that. Do the same thing with this one. Okay. Fold it up like this. it. Let's curl them. This is a thinner ribbon, so it's not cooperating as much. See how it likes to fold in on itself? It's giving me a fit. Hey, Levon! Hey, Sweepy! How are you? There's my Sweepy! Okay, so that's with those and where did I put that other one? Here it is. Since my hands are small I kind of have to hold it in the fist. So you know. Okay, so I'm gonna make it kind of like that. First of all I'm gonna make sure these are even and it's not so there we go. Okay. Twist it. One is a little bit smaller than the other one. I'm not measuring it because I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Twist it. Okay. 
Alright, now I'm going to take all this fun stuff and pull my tails down a little bit and that's going to be the hard part because I need to kind of hold on to this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because it's going to need to go in like this. Okay, so, and it's kind of hard to see because I keep getting the ribbon out of the way. So I'm going to put this like here, right in the back of this ribbon, and we're going to zip tie this. And this is actually where I'm going to put that white flower, okay? And I hope if I turn it around. Alright, so again, make sure this is all even. Okay, then pull it really, really tight. Okay. Oops, there we go. Just like that. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but we'll see. You'll see. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay. I know. Yeah, they're all wired. They're all wired, huh? Okay, so I'm going to kind of pull these apart like this. Pull this one down. Okay, so that's going to be the bow at the top of the hanger, like this. So I'm going to kind of dovetail these a little bit. I don't want them too long because I don't want them covering the flower. It's a real good, easy way to make a hanger that's really, really pretty and elegant without using, you know, like pie cleaners. If you want something more extravagant than that. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take that white flower and stick it in the middle to hide that um, zip tie. Okay. I have to hold my hand out like that because I've cut myself I don't know how many times. Darn drugs. <laughs> okay, so... Now, I'm going to put this on the table real quick after I take a drink. Because <gasps> I need, I don't want to burn myself. See how it hangs just like that? And I'll hang on the door. And we've got a really pretty bow on the top. And the last thing we're going to do is put the flower right here. Okay. Oh, this is a monster. Okay. But I want to make sure that my ribbons are where I need. I swear, Hobby Lobby has some pretty ribbons sometimes, but they're, it's not the best quality I should say because this is that it's really pretty but it's very thin and it doesn't like to shape very well okay let me get my white flower uh, okay all right that was a rough one okay let me get my snips this is just a white rose I'm gonna snip it as close to the end as I can. You don't want to go all the way to the end because your um, the green part, this part, will come off. If you want it to come off, then it's no big deal. Okay. 
So I want this one to kind of go down a little bit. Oh, I'm not marrying. This is just the bow to hang it. I cut them enough to where you're not going to hide the wings. If I need to, I can always cut some more. Okay. So, uh, that's a little close to my fingers. I'm just going to stick this in here. Just like that. And I'm just going to hold it for a minute. Okay. And then I'm going to stick it up here on the easel so you can see what it looks like with the hanger. What do you guys think so far? I love these little things. They're so cute. And the fact that they're wired and they can go everywhere. I'm going to have to get some more. I don't know. Pull that one out. This one in a little bit. I'll have to play with it. Not while it's upside down. Okay. So, that's on there pretty good. So, let me see. Make sure I don't have glue on the back of it. So, I'm not... Alright. So, see? When you hang it, it's not covering the wings. And that's a little warm still. So, let me show you what it looks like with the hanger. So, this is how it would hang. Obviously, it would be, this would be the hanger, see, not covering the wings, isn't that pretty? Alright, so, here she is, in all of You can even take some flowers and put them up in here so they're dangling down. I kind of like it the way it is, though. Okay. Okay. I need to get here. Oh, that stuff falling out. Don't forget, you guys, that I do have this little guy in my store. I only have three left. Last time I checked, he's um, he cute. He's weighted enough so he can sit like on a mantle. You can put him in a wreath, a centerpiece. His hat's wired, his ears are wired. Um, I have them for $25 on my Etsy shop um, with free shipping. Isn't he cute? So, like I said, I only have about three left. I'm going to put this back up so you guys can see. I love this easel. Um, and this easel I also got at Hobby Lobby a while ago, um, and put some, I just took some cabinet hooks and put them on the back of the easel. I'm just going to set that right there right now. Let's put this down. And then I still have all of this left. So, not bad, huh? Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Cece better than the flower it came with because it just came with a metal flower. I mean, it's okay, but I like the big flower in the between the wings better. So tomorrow I will take a picture of this in the daylight. So the morning light I get is better. I can't believe I'm going to have to fix that. That's just so stupid. I can't. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. They took two pieces of ribbon and glued it together. That what that worked. It's a good thing I got more of that ribbon. <laughs> it's like seriously. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's enough ribbon here because it's long enough. I can use it for something else. But it's just the point. It's like seriously, we pay good money for ribbon and they just slap it together. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I went to um, Burton and Burton and um, made an order with them. I've never ordered with them. 
they had six of those gnomes, and they're fa fairly good sized gnomes, right? And um, they they were thirty, I think it was thirty nine dollars for a set of six. So, and I want all I wanted was one, so I'm like, okay, well I'll get, I'll buy them, and then I'll keep one and sell the rest of them. Well, I was going to go back and get some more because they're getting really popular, and um, they don't carry them anymore. Really? You just had them two weeks ago. <laughs> TK, you're so funny. I know it's pretty small on your phone though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I need to uh, put this in a different spot or something. I don't know. I'll we'll figure it out in the morning, but because it's hiding the... There we go. I want to see the bling in the middle. And I, for, I actually had cut pieces to put the small pieces in the middle. See? <laughs> and I tied it all up and I'm like... Oh, crap. I forgot to put the small pieces on. That's okay. I kind of like it without the little pieces in the middle. The, just the big loops. I'm not going to take it apart to put them in there. But I like the... the um, let me cut this one a little bit. The wired ribbon included in it. It's a little different than you see in a regular red bow. It's better if you want a little bit of ribbon... Um, wire ribbon to put in here. It's better to add it while you're doing the rag bow than put it little piece by piece in here. It's just a pain. Doesn't that just take you off, Debbie? To no end. They All they did was they just... It's not even glue. I mean, it's like sticky. I don't... Oh, I don't know. That's what happens when it comes from overseas, right? Because I think that's where it all comes from, is China. I, even though I got it at Craft Outlet, I think they get it all from China. But that's what we get for getting ribbon from China. Saying. I could just sing here and let these ribbons all night. But, I put, like I said, I'll just put it on the door tomorrow. And at least these ones are right. I'm gonna get there. I wanted one on each side. There, it looks like a party streamer. <laughs> yeah, like it's double taped. I'm like, you don't think we're gonna not notice that? <laughs> Here, let me just slap that back on there. There, it's good. <laughs> Idiots. I hate that. That just. That's one of my biggest pet peeves, is when they just don't care. You know? Ah! Oh. Anywho. Um, so again, I'm going to start getting back into my lives again. I know it's been a while since I've talked to all y'all. And I apologize for that with the holidays. And then I got buried with orders all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. I ran a an after Christmas sale. And in a week, I got 29 orders. I'm still trying to catch up. I'm almost done, but I'm like, granted, it's not a bad problem to have. I'm not complaining, but I I had to not do lives. All I was doing is sitting in here doing orders. So now that I'm getting almost caught up, yay, um, I'm going to be doing more lives. Um, again, if you're interested, I do have my design group. Um, right now I'm running my special through January um, of $10 a month and you can quit at any time. There's no obligation to stay. You don't, it's not a requirement that you have to stay. Um, we do uh, one live a week and two tutorials a week. We do monthly giveaways. Um, I so this is kind of like what we do in my design group just to give you an idea um this is something that i would do in my design group um but the link is down below if you're interested again it's ten dollars a month um we have a really group cool
I think February is the last month. So if it's hockey, since if we have hockey on Friday nights and Saturday nights, then my lives will be on Sunday. If uh, not, then it'll be on Friday night. But it'll always be at the same time, 6 p.m. Unless it's on Sunday, I may do it earlier in the afternoon so I can spend some time with the hubs. You know, they like to spend time with them. But, um, I think it turned out really pretty. I like it. I kind of, I feel like there's something missing. I'm wondering if I should get some more. I think I, do you guys think I should get some more roses and put them in here? Like maybe one on each side. Some more pink roses like these. Or like put a white one and then a pink one. What do you guys think? I, I just, I feel like something is missing. I think about getting some more of these, but I don't think I need any more of these. I think these are enough. What do you guys think? Night, CC. I appreciate you coming, hon. I hope you feel better. All right, ladies. I'm going to go spend the rest of my night with the hubs before I go to bed. I have to get ready for work tomorrow morning. But thank you guys for coming. Um, I love you all. You guys are such an inspiration and you give me such great support. So I love you guys for being here. I appreciate you staying and, and coming and um, hopefully, I'm hoping to do my live on Friday. I forgot my notebook, otherwise I would tell you what we're going to be doing. But um, thank you all. I appreciate you. Love you. Bye. Bye.